What's going on guys? All right, today we're gonna try and uh, make my own live well for the tournament that we have coming up this Saturday. Let's hope I don't jack this thing up. So to give credit where it's due, I asked um, another YouTuber, his name Real Yackers. I asked him last year when I was doing a trout tournament because I saw that he had one. I was like, hey, how did you do that? And he sent me all the information on how. Um, I was able to find a video at all on how, so I'm gonna attempt it myself and film the whole process and hope that I don't jack this thing up, right, you guys? So let's hope we don't screw this up. Cheers. All right, you guys, so the first couple things we had to get is a medium Plano box from Academy. Well, first you wanna size your yak. So make sure that it'll fit However, this thing's gonna take up the whole back area, so I'm gonna have to find some other stores, which I'm really not gonna take a lot, but this is the 2021 Hobie Outback. So it should fit. A bubbler, G-Juice for later on, two butt hinges, some screws, and some drink. All right, guys, so after we cut the line through here, you can see it. Two hinges, two screws on each side just to hold it. So now it hinges. We'll place the other screws once we get going. And after that, the air bubbler it comes with four screws already. So the same thing, we just drilled straight into it right now. And this bugger is secure so far. We almost have a good working live well. The only thing is now we're gonna drill a hole probably right here for the tubing. And this comes off and splits to a T into one. And after that, you just need a battery and then we have ourselves a live well for a kayak tournament. All thanks with the help of real yakkers. All right, so the next thing I did here you got a drill bit, drill the small hole for this tubing to fit in. So I'm going to place that all the way in there. And all you have to do here is follow the directions to cut enough to make your T head into one. All right. So we started with the box, cut the line in half. After that, we drilled screws for the hinge. Then we placed the bubbler where we want it. Now we drilled for the tubing. All we need now is just to connect the tubing and it should be ready to go. So now what I'm gonna do, I measured out the tubing. Now I'm gonna cut, make sure you leave enough room because remember some of it still has to slide on to the bubbler and some of it still has to slide on to the T. So we just left an extra amount of room there for that. And now we're gonna make our cuts. All right, so now we have a little issue here. I should have cut more. You see how one part of it is kinked? This part is good. This part is gonna restrict airflow back up into here and probably cause to overheat. So what we're gonna to have to do is cut another little bit longer for the top side. So good thing we have extra tubing and we can make this happen. All right, just like that, easy fix. No kink. I'm ready to roll. Let's measure out how much we need for the stone to go inside and we should be ready to rock. All right, you guys, she's ready to go. We hooked her up, she fires up. We have a 12 volt battery right here. This should give us close to at least 20 hours of time, which is plenty enough. Now we just need to figure out a way to waterproof this guy. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Maybe an old tackle box or an ammo can and we should be ready to go tubing here to the T inside there and there you have it your own live well for tournament kayaking don't forget some of the juice you can get this at Academy some G juice tells you how much 
for whatever water you have and that should keep the fish alive that's what we're hoping all right you guys i'll show you right now what i use whenever i find it to waterproof this battery all right you guys we are out the garage we are done the live well is set the only thing i didn't factor in for is to get a smaller battery so i'm going to go tomorrow to academy or walmart and grab a 12 volt deer feeder battery thanks to my buddy calder's big brother threw out that comment appreciate it so we're gonna get that set up and then hopefully it should be up and running. I'm gonna put it inside a, uh, I'm gonna secure the battery to keep it watertight. I'm gonna place it inside the, why can't I think of the dang name? It's uh, the bags you take with, that have food in there, the lunch bag, lunch bag. We're just gonna call it a lunch bag. So I'm gonna keep it watertight in there or I might go get an, no, I'm gonna go get an ammo. I was gonna get a plastic ammo can from Walmart. You can do that also if you have extra time, but I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna get the water, the food bag. I'm gonna place it in there, place it behind my seat. And then I'm gonna film the whole trip, so I'll let you guys know how it does, how it holds up, um, and how heavy it is also. That's the only thing too, we're factoring is at the weight, how the weight's gonna take. I'm gonna be able to handle the kayak. I think it should be okay. Keep you guys updated.